the magnetic vector potential is complicated, but it's kind of like the electric potential, which is a scalar value, but different. So going back to the electric potential, I think we can understand the magnetic vector potential. So we have here Gauss's law that says that the divergence of electric field is the charge density divided by epsilon naught. We also know that the curl of the electric field is zero. And from that, we can define the electric potential to be the negative of the gradient of the, the electric field to be the negative of the gradient of the potential. And the negative is there for a reason that doesn't always make sense, but you don't have to have it that way, but we do. And if we put that into Gauss's law, we get this. This is the Poisson, Poisson equation, which says that the second divergence the Laplacian of the potential is the negative of the charge density. Okay, and we get from that this expression for the electric potential. That's important. It's an integral of charge density over all space. Now, if we do the same thing with the magnetic field, we know that the divergence in the magnetic field is zero because there's no magnetic monopoles. And with that, we get Ampere's law, which says that the curl of the magnetic field is related to the charge density. Okay. Now, where are we with that? We can pick this. We can say the magnetic field B is the curl of some other function, vector function A, which we call the vector potential. If we put that in, there's a vector identity that says that the curl of the curl of A is the divergence of the, the gradient of the divergence of A minus the, the vector Laplacian of A. So we can pick del dot a is equal to zero, and then we get this. We get the Laplacian of a is negative mu naught j. That's kind of a big deal, because once we do that, it looks a lot like this, except that's a scalar and this is a vector, but we can break that into Cartesian components, and we get this just like this for the vector potential. And now we can find the magnetic field for the vector potential.